In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple model of a train, follow a track in the Blender game engine using the steering actuator and navigation meshes. The starting point for this tutorial is a simple model of a toy train. You can download the file from my website. I'm going to start by hiding the train and changing the view to the top view. Add Curve Bezier, go into Edit Mode, press S to Scale 8 and Enter, select the handle, press G to grab and make that shorter, select the handle, G to grab, make it shorter, select the handle, G to grab, move it and make it shorter, select the handle, G to grab, make that shorter, press A twice to select all, press S to Scale 4 and Enter, and zoom back with the mouse wheel. Select the handle, press G to grab, and this time make it longer. Select the handle, press G to grab, and make this one longer. Go to the object data properties for the curve and set the resolution to 24 to make the curve smoother. Press A twice to select all, scroll down and click subdivide. Go into object mode, and without moving the mouse, hold down Shift, press D to duplicate and enter. Into edit mode. Select the handle, press G to grab and make that horizontal. Select the point, press G to grab and move it to there. Go into object mode, select the original curve, back into edit mode. Select the point, G to grab and move it to there. Go into object mode. Add Mesh Plane, I'm going to scale it in Edit Mode, press S to Scale, Y for the Y Axis, 0.25 and Enter. Back into Object Mode, click the Modifiers button, click the Add Modifier button, add an Array Modifier, click the Add Modifier button, add a Curve Modifier, Scroll down and set the object of the curve modifier to be the first Bezier curve. Scroll up, tick Merge, set the count to 40, and click the right arrow so there's enough elements for the length of the curve. Click Apply, click Apply, click the Object Properties, and change the name to Root A. Do the same for the second curve, add Mesh Plane, go into Edit Mode, press S to Scale, Y, 0.25 and Enter, back into Object Mode, click the Modifiers button, add an Array Modifier, add a Curve Modifier, scroll down and set the object of the Curve Modifier to be the second curve, tick Merge, scroll up, set the count to 43, apply the array modifier, apply the curve modifier, click the object properties and set the name to root B. Drag to make the properties window wider, click the physics button, change the render to blend again, change the physics type to navigation mesh, Select the other root, change its physics type to Navigation Mesh. Add Mesh Cube. Use the tips of the arrows to move the cube to the end of the Navigation Mesh. Click the Object Properties button and rename the cube Target A. Add Mesh Cube. Move the cube to the end of the other navigation mesh and rename it target B. Add mesh cube, move the cube to the start and rename that one target home. Click the eye icon to unhide the train engine and select it. Use the tips of the arrows 
to place the engine on the navigation mesh, remembering to leave room for the rest of the train. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and change shading to wireframe. Fine tune the position and press R to rotate and make the engine roughly tangential to the curve. Change the layout to game logic. Drag to close the properties panel. Add a keyboard sensor. Click on key and I'm going to press the right arrow. Add an AND controller and a steering actuator and connect those up. Change the behaviour of the steering actuator to path following. Set the target to be target A. Set the navigation mesh to be route A. Set the distance to zero. Shift and mouse wheel to scroll down and tick visualize. Start the game engine, press the right arrow and the engine follows the path. I've jumped ahead to where I've given the logic bricks meaningful names. The keyboard sensor I've called right and the steering actuator I've called forward A for going forward along route A. Click the white triangles to close up the logic bricks. Add a, another keyboard sensor, an AND controller and a steering actuator. Click on key and press the left arrow and connect those up. Change the behavior to path following. I want the target object to be target home, so I'm pressing the down arrow to scroll. Set the navigation mesh to route A and set the distance to 13.5. I've jumped ahead again and given the logic bricks meaningful names, back A for going back along route A. Close up the logic bricks. I've added more logic bricks for going forward along route B. Change the behavior to path following. Set the target object to be target B. Set the navigation mesh to be route B. And set the distance to be zero. Jumping ahead, I've set up the logic bricks for going back along route B. Set the behavior to path following. Set the target object using the down arrow to target home. Set the navigation mesh to route B. Pan down, shift and mouse wheel and set the distance to 13.5. In the outliner window, unhide the guards fan and the trucks. Select the guards fan, hold down shift and select the trucks. And lastly, holding down shift, select the engine. In the object menu, go to game, copy logic bricks. Now all the trucks have the logic bricks. This truck will be directly behind the engine. To stop it running into the back of the engine as they reach the target, I'm going to set the distance to 4.5. Now it will stop 4.5 units in front of the target. Shift and mouse wheel to scroll down. On the way back, two trucks will be in front of it. Two times 4.5 is nine. It'll stop nine units in front of the target. On the way out along route B, the engine will be in front of it, 4.5. And on the way back, the two trucks will be in front of it. So set the distance to nine. Jumping ahead, I've set the distances for the next truck It'll have one truck and the engine in front of it, so it needs to stop nine units in front of the target. On the way back, it'll only have the guards van in front of it, so it needs to stop 4.5 units in front of the target. Going out, nine units. Coming back, 4.5 units. Finally, the guards van. Going forward, three times 4.5, which is 13.5. Going back we want it to go right up to the target so zero going forward 13.5 coming back zero 
change the layout back to default, control the mouse wheel to pan sideways, select the next track and use the tips of the arrows to move it near to the navigation mesh, press R to rotate and fine tune its position. I've jumped ahead so now all I have to place is the guards fan. Put it near to the navigation mesh, press R to rotate and fine tune its position. Change the shading to solid. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and control and mouse wheel to pan sideways. File append. Go to the folder where you have your track cross section. Select the file, track15.blend, you can download the file from my website. Click to go into it, go into the object folder, select the track and append. The appended object is not selected, select the track. Click the modifiers button, add an array modifier, tick merge, add a curve modifier, Scroll down and set the object to be the first Bezier curve. Scroll up and set the count to be 75. Click the object properties, set the X location to minus 1.6. Back to modifiers, apply the array modifier, apply the curve modifier. File, append. Select the track again, append. Select the new track. Add an array modifier and tick merge. Add the curve modifier. Scroll down and set the object to be the second Bezier curve. Click the object properties and set the X location to 40. Click the modifiers button and set the count to 40. Apply the array modifier, apply the curve modifier. Select the target cubes Click the physics button and set them to be invisible when the game engine runs. The navigation meshes will automatically be invisible. Dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, we see the train is too low or the track is too high. I'm going to set the Z value of the engine to 1.9 and we need to do that for the other trucks. We need to do it for the target cubes, 1.9 and we need to do it for the navigation meshes, set the Z value to 1.9. I've jumped ahead and raised up the other objects. Change the layout to game logic. Select the engine. We have a problem with the engine flipping direction when it goes backwards. To cure the problem, set the axis to minus X in the steering actuators where the engine goes backwards. Clicking self-terminated will stop the engine flickering when it reaches the target. And we don't need visualize once we've got everything working and that needs to be turned off in the trucks as well. I've jumped ahead and unticked visualize for all the trucks. Change the layout back to default. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used and the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.